Hello guys, so welcome to today's show. My name is Nachooks and you're on JFL TV, the home of football. So if today is the first time we really see our program, we will bring you the latest Arsenal news updates as they drop all over the world. So for now, I will start with today's show. So for the press conference, we at a hold after the Liverpool game. So I think when they complain, whether they ask and say, whether the referees, the FA or whoever, somebody in authority, don't let them know why then disallow our goal for Liverpool. That go away, Kai Havas competes, you got keep your first competes, Kai Havas can't compete, then it's in Jamba, Jesus can't see Nakami enter. With that, they don't tell us what's in happen, why they disallow our I think that's it for now, nobody don't tell us. But maybe today, we will get clarity on what's in really happen. And true, true. Make another life for you. We don't get clarity because, according to the reports, we're going to reach. Even Football London actually put out a report say the reason we make them cancel that goal because many people say, don't ask me yesterday. Say, Sachuks, what did really happen? Why did they disallow our goal? It is because of they say Jacob Kivio, that first not the win jump. We bless him one for break body. You get say in jump over Dominic Spose lie. Say that what did they penalize the team for? Even though when you watch that video, you get to go see, say, Dominic Spose like no even jump. You get that is not clean nodding. And if you watch, referees have no blow at that time. Oh, now, I have a near the boat, um, but the team making wiper. Now, referee can the blow. So that's why the controversy is there. Say, why you go blow not clean header? Both the Dom, uh, Jacob Kivion nodding on Dominic Spose line, both the Kai Havras nodding on the Brian Konate, those were clean. In fact, I went to see that Kai Havras own the one penalized them for because come blessing the ball touch. Uh, Kai Havertz for hand, not really shoulder. And this is another one, the one penalized. But they are claiming it is the nodding on uh, Dominic Spose line, but that thing was a clean nodding. So I don't really know. Even Give Me Sports actually put out their own reports, say why Anthony Taylor disallowed Arsenal's legs go versus Liverpool. It's a referee Anthony Taylor reportedly believed that Arsenal's Jacob Kivio in the lead up to the Brazil's uh, goal ruled out the route because of that. If you read the entirety of the reports, they are still talking about the Dominic Spose light incident. So that's why they did that. But well, all these are water under the bridge. You don't pass. We say don't pass. Good. Now when it comes to Asna, you go to see all these kinds of because it's thing really it paid me. All right, so we start wasting much of your time. I think it's safe for us to just go through Ateta's post-match press conference and more could just react to that. If you check Ateta's demeanor, if you check in body language, you will see the man just the like the just para. If you even go back to the game we play yesterday after. Uh, Liverpool scored that goal. See, Ateta body language said, "Who ah, 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 have the clubs like he was somehow emotionally defeated? Like ah, it's in pain, but what do we know?" Um, having gone ahead twice, do, do you feel disappointed, frustrated? Good performance overall. Yes, yeah, very proud of the team, especially with the situation that we are. Uh, going through at the moment, and probably that we cannot imagine, but uh, overall, I think, especially the first half, it was uh, a total domination. I think we were exactly. really, really good, I agree. really sharp, really efficient, really determined, and the result probably should have been bigger. And then, yeah, without considering nothing, basically, we gave two goals away, which is the disappointing part, and, uh, and the fact that we could not see the game off, um, especially looking at ourselves for two things that we didn't do particularly well. And obviously about other aspects. Could, could you search one at the end? Did you think that was unfairly ruled out? Sorry? Could you that's the goal with the rule out? Was it unfairly ruled out? That's what they are. Second question. At the end, do you think that was unfairly ruled out? I prefer not to comment. See, the man the vex, the man the para, you know, just one talk. Get though for the ending, now you could give clarity, say okay, they never really give us explanation because no, I don't want to replay like more than 20 times. I don't see any illegal contact. I don't see any violent conduct. I don't see anything bad. There we go, make them rule out that goal that would have been like very like an icing on the cake of the performance. So we'll give out if we just be 32. Because that was like maybe 91 minutes or thereabouts. As in, everything don't stew now. Okay, Rosano. Okay, how big an impact did the, the changes in the defense make? Obviously, on that left side, you give your miles. Mm -hmm. so how an impact did that end the game? That's how big an impact the changes will make that yesterday, especially for that left side. So, like, whoa, FB there, Gary. The guy don't know what he wants to go. I don't know. It's what it is, you know. Obviously, uh, we had five injuries in the back line. Uh, we have to adapt to it and, and we'll continue to adapt, you know, with the situation five that um, that we have. Right. Um, support them, praise the players because the chorus that they played today again was unbelievable. And keep going. 
Sammy, for the man. Karen, given the circumstances of the injuries and, and the changes to the back line, how do you view the, the point? Is it is it too dropped in your eyes? Yeah, very disappointed. I'm really disappointed that we haven't won the game today because I think yes. we were better, but especially because in two things that we had to do a bit better, we didn't, and uh, and some other stuff, obviously. Uh, Mikel, Bakaya, I, I don't think he's ever missed two Premier League games in a row due to injury. How much does that tell you about his consistency, but the fact with Yuri coming back as well? Mm. That you're back I discussed on uh, about uh, Bakaya Saka's consistency, the way they play. And like the interviewer reference, you see, Saka never missed two games in a row for Arsenal since we're on the play because. At some point, this guy played like almost two, three seasons in a row, back by any day, any time, any day available. But this time around, it's still going to take a toll on your body. That's why we need Saka to rest more. But the person we will bring to help Saka get that rest, the person who they really inspire trust and confidence for where we did, sadly. Even though there's this argument that, okay, he still needs to be given more time because of match rustiness. I'm talking about Ryan Sterling, but... It is what it is. Let's, let's see it. You know, fall really hard to get back for a game like this. Yeah, it's just his consistency, the fact that he's very young as well, and he's been very lucky with injuries. Yeah. Hopefully he continues to be there. But yeah, after a few weeks off, uh, the way he played, competed, it was um, exceptional. I think we had some big, big individual performances today, like like the team. Jordan, for some? Uh, just on jury and going off, do you think we are about taking risks with players with he one? Now, this next question now on the risk of starting team by because we know since Matter no represent. Just we have to risk him. That means what we talk for pre-match analysis. Say if team by no day, who be the person when I think say free whole salad. No, no, this is salad they missing with that game. Salah was missing. Imagine that now lose my skin in the face, or Zinchenko in the face, or keep your salad the face. Do you think they'll do a good a job like Simba did to keep him out for like at least 70 75 minutes before you scale you can't come in so i can't shine these are the issues well i think we we've done everything that we possibly could to accelerate that process and he was so willing the the team the medical staff has done an amazing work and uh, we gave ourselves the chance to to compete uh, i don't know the extent of the injury if there is one the same would be gabby but uh, yeah continue you always talk now and say for this team, and I said, team, I come outside and be garbage. They never know the extent of their injury. You get but That's just um, Virgil van Dyke was involved in an early incident with Kai Havertz, um, which I'm not sure if you know, I've looked at it. Did you see, you see it? Did you know, I haven't seen the, the replay now. Did they ask him about that Virgil van Dyke incident with um, what is it they call him? Uh, Havertz. So he said, never really watch the replay, never see, see, make another life for you. And that incident, many, many Arsenal fans said, don't come and say, complain, say, Benjamin Van Dijk supposed to collect card for that match. Even when you look at the reports, we, what do they call them? Um, Daily Mail put out, they say, angry Arsenal fans insist Van Dijk should have been sent off for violence conduct. Because when you cast your mind back to what Van Dijk do, it was deliberate, intentional, no business a mistake. He purposely barged into Kai Havertz. The guy fell down. He called him and said, get up, get up. Why, 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 why are you falling down? And Anthony Taylor miss him. The V, when they like to chook nose, chook mouth, for Aston Mata, even though you know be, you know, be a red card offense, they go chook, but they know Luka. At least enough for Luka, I'm not going to know. Maybe the, or maybe they look at this is a yellow card offense, and you see, they know they meddle themselves into yellow card waters. So I'm not going to know. But now something we say, the FA miss. And with the wait, maybe, the PGML will release a statement on why Benjamin Van Dyke was not penalized. Imagine that Gabriel Magalha is the person that's in now. And there you go, you say, Valerie, come down, give him red card. Let's use our discretion. <laughs> All right, let's proceed. Take off. What was the issue with Big I don't know, but he could not run. So that's why he said it straight away. So yeah, this is uh, the issue about uh, Gabriel Magalha. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it's the, the knee joint or the ankle. Uh, they are assessing him right now. So. Ed Guardian. Just, Hi. Just wondering if you had um, any other issues with, with sort no of comments. decisions today. Like there was a penalty essentially mm. in the first half. What you think Prefer about? not to comment. See, eh, they try to. They lost Ateta the vets, no matter because the last time Ateta was angry like this was that and uh, Newcastle match where she had disgrace. I just said this great. This is a key. So they don't say they got the vex and in the in a vulnerable state of mind. So they try to elicit something, get a response, get whether we use with their headline, like get something, a gotcha moment.
But I think I did very, very, I'm going to say, all this kind of thing. Oh, no comment. I don't, I don't want to talk about this one. See, what do you think about the reference of shit? I know they talk. Sorry. Uh, Amy, I think. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, no. This is. Yeah, they ask whether all the injuries will they get, all this is whether influence in people will get bad luck. People they face bad luck you get. So I think that's what they circumstances um, that we have to, that are going to make us better, and they are making us better. So uh, if we are able to be where we are and compete in the manner that we do, and I see the team, and I had no doubt three days before, I think I told you, we're going to be flying on Sunday. And, uh, and we started uh, flying and we were the better team by far. Um, but yeah, we needed to grab the points today to make a reflection of where we are and where we want to be. We couldn't do it, but for sure we are there. Can I also ask if you feel that maybe the running a bit out of puff in the second half, that playing so many games with 10 men, it kind of catches up on you a bit maybe? Well, I don't know. I think I'm more disappointed and frustrated about one thing that we didn't do that we had to do in the second half, but uh, yeah, on the physical part, we look at all the stats. The stats are not dropping. We had better stats in second half in many games, especially individually. Uh, some positive, like Mikkel, for example, hasn't played 90 minutes for yeah, know, became five months probably, uh, since the Euros or whatever. So a lot of positive things to take and, um, and carry on going. Okay, last two now. Now, I'm going to ask, I think this question is about on um, being five points off the top, because like this, like this, the mass is in the with five points, so no here reaction. James, yes, yeah. Um, because five points now to City. I mean, it's only nine games in. Yeah. How relevant is that gap at the moment? Well, you don't want to be in that position. We want to be five points ahead, but this Lobby is um, where we are. And, uh, and again, I think the it team is, is it's alive. The team wants it. You know, I feel it every single day. The players I cannot play, they're, they're upset um, that they are not playing. The ones that they get injured, the ones that they are there, they are in a good moment. So. Things will turn up and we're gonna in a better place, but we are certainly there. Okay, fine. We'll go to James from CBA. All right, so I think next question now, they're gonna ask him on why the goal that goal they talk about, maybe the thumbnail will be our headline. Why the goal was disallowed? I know you don't want to comment too much on the incident in the last minute. Have you, have you been told what the foul was going for? Give you your adverts? There's a lot. Of no, nothing. Well, I'm sure that we will have a clarity or a letter afterwards, but uh, I don't know. Okay. Okay. What, okay, what was the one thing that you didn't do that you should have done? I know they tell you, guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I said, what do you mean we're supposed to do for the match? We will not do. So make it tell it. Say, Baba, I didn't keep down for myself. Yeah, I don't yeah. need to tell anybody. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. So after listening to Mikel Ateta's press conference, I can't actually go watch Aslot's uh, press conference. Now, Aslot uh, actually complimented Arsenal on a lot of things. See, in fact, for them to even get a draw after going behind twice, See, then they pleased. You can talk about the way we at that they manage the game. Maybe say at that they use different different style. You get one time at that talk say for one match it's like sixty to seventy percent uh, formation. People in shock. Now he and Slot said they confirm say for this game. See the way they take plan to approach the game to counter Arsenal for what Arsenal go do. I'm not say at that they change things like I didn't know if you call it Teddy boys. I wanted to do maybe at that they do like forty different. I wanted to do one. Get never by the complain. Talk about things and at the end. And slots considered say the injuries we Arsenal get, like removing the Bremagales and Timber and all that, he helped them. Obviously, ah, he made Arsenal significantly weaker. That's what I, I was telling somebody. Let's take a listen. Going two times behind against a very strong and good Arsenal team, uh, then to get a point is. Um, it's pleasing to see, especially because of course, why it be? we had to play an away game in Europe this week. We had one day less to recover and to prepare. And then to go two times behind uh, with the fans being so loud uh, and us coming back so strong the second half, because I think we deserve to be 2-1 um, down or one goal down at half time. Then um, it's very pleasing to see that we had the energy and, uh, and, and that we were so strong to fight ourselves back in the game the second half. Yeah. But with the quality of Arsenal in the first half because they dominated us. Uh you see confirmation. First half, um, first half, I wish we could have scored more goals. First half was flawless. First half was, was amazing, exciting to watch. That's why after we do the uh when we do the halftime show, I made a statement. I said, no two halves are equal. This Liverpool you see, they're going to be bouncing back, but nobody saw that the Bromagales would come out of the game. Like ah, of all days today. 
Come on, that thing just changed the game, change the dimension. Gabriel Magales and Simba, those two, and then change the, the dimension of the game. The dynamics, everything change into Liverpool favor. Um without without creating that many chances though they they they, they also needed set pieces for the second goal and also to to threaten us let me set piece with um, this for where the first goal was of course a great individual quality uh, of uh, of saka yes. uh, the thing is if you face arsenal uh, with a manager that's working here for four or five years and he has done an incredible job over here because he can his team can play in so many different setups so they always play four for free, <laughs> but <laughs> the way they position themselves is is uh, they can do this in. The last I think he said it once really. himself. 40, 40 different setups. I don't know what he exactly said, but in many different setups. So you prepare a game plan. You expect something, um, but you cannot ex you cannot tell your players forty different options. So uh, after people go come and say Ateta na baby coach, they hear coachy coachy they confirm Ateta. Say this one our born na tactician. You go prepare and time go shock you. Yes, we press the go for comments at the time. At the time, say baby coach. You say baby coach. They hear coach, they talk, they confirm her. Say the way the guy they operate. <laughs> In fact, so I can't read one report from the Daily Mail say some rep from uh, managers now and their staff. They know they watch at the uh, press conference again to learn about team news because they don't say at the time will confuse them. At the time will talk A. When Matt start to go see B, no wonder. Jimmy Karaga was saying, and slots not trust at that time. At that time, go tell you, hey, you will see B. You go tell you Saka no day. Man, go start to go see Saka. No trust her. <laughs> well, it is already. Uh, let's continue. Uh, you you try to prepare them in the best possible way, but now they played with a false nine, um, which they do maybe more often. But they didn't go that many times with full back inside, so they did. Uh, let it go. Uh, so we could prepare them at halftime a bit better uh, for what we saw the first half. We Took some more risk, but I think the main thing was that we just put more energy into it. We we pressed them more aggressive from the start, and then I saw also that we could keep going where uh, they had to take a few of their uh, quality players off as well, because they couldn't go on, and maybe that helped us in the end a bit as well. It helped you, know, maybe that helped us. It helped you a lot. When Timba did there was Salah. Maybe until when Luis Maestri enter, it helped you a lot significantly. Um now after Arsenal's press conference, normal not say me, normal no, after Arsenal play, I did check different, different, I did listen to a lot of pundits, get their point of view. Some of them got the young dust, especially this yesterday match. They got the young dust. I watched Roy King, Roy King got the young dust about that match. As I'm supposed to come out and attack when it was 2 1. I did see Karaga. Karaga, in fact, Karaga now even got reverse me. Karaga say, I thought I don't they turn into the new Jose Mourinho. Send a copy of Jose Mourinho style in the life to defend. In fact, I think I have the video. Let's let's take a listen to what Karaga said. Worked with Pep Guardiola. We're almost thinking this is a, a Pep Guardiola disciple. And if you look at the best, <laughs> probably the two disciple. most successful managers, let's say the last 10, 15 years, you've got Pep Guardiola here with a certain style of football, and you've got Jose Mourinho, almost equally as successful at the other end. Mikel Arteta is slowly moving into a Jose Mourinho type of manager and no one really thought that would happen. And I just think it's really interesting how they've got there. So you see today, 2-1 up, pressing in Liverpool, on top of Liverpool, playing really well. They retreat second half. Now, I know they had a couple of injuries at the back, but they've still got the midfield players playing. They've still got some attacking players playing. Who you think, can you get on the ball? Can you go forward? And... Ah, oh no. I said, I said, what is this? How what if the criteria where they think they make all these people pundits? You by yourself, you concede, say they have injuries at the back. You can't say the midfield players and the attacking players, they have to go forward. Go forward, go do if they go forward, they're not gonna score. Count and go. You have a makeshift defense of Luis Maiskelly, of Ben White, of Jacob Kivio, and Pate. People will be saying, No man, no man, Pate, no be first way they put for the back. These are people who say they don't get experience. This is a high intensity match, high pressure match. And you're saying they, they have midfielders, they have attackers, they should go for like oh that's the listening to all these things. I was losing brain cells. Like, how did you become a pundit? I believe this is the the the, the Liverpool bias character. Now they talk, it's not talking objectively here because how on earth are you expecting them to go for? In fact, somebody pointed out my DMs yesterday. Says, Sachu, do you know that? That goal where Arsenal concede, that's a second goal. Now, because Arsenal go attack, Liverpool can't counter us, can't score. Now, in that goal, they enter. I was in the explain. If I let me play the video, finish. I sort of maybe take the sting out of you know, the pressure you're under. So, there's a, 
So do you think that instinct, Jamie, is protecting what you that, have? That's coming from the manager. Trying to win it. It happens too often now. We see it with 10. Why would you protect what you have? Liverpool scored around uh, 80 something minutes. At 75 minutes, Luis Maiskeli entered. You have 15 minutes to go. Plus, I start at maybe 19. You could the reason how you could ride the game out. Game management. Not attacking when you don't have a good defense. You have a makeshift defense, a temporary defense. People will say, no man, no man, they never play with themselves together. Somebody like Luis Maiskeli, he's too young to even play for this kind of game. For Luis Maiskeli to play, he needs the likes of Saliba, the likes of Robert Magalha. So they guide them to the tell them things to do because there are things your Saliba and the Ramagalians will see. Lose my skin, you know, we'll see him. That thing they say, that's some kind of attack. What thing I will sniff, we'll see him. Lose my skin, you know, we'll see him. Because of lack of too much experience and exposure, what thing I get. And people like this, they'll say, they have to go out, they have to... And then, I get oh, what man. happened to City. I thought what they did, it was brilliant. I, 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 I commentate on the game, enjoyed watching it. But what they did here against Brighton, what they were doing against Bournemouth last week, the, t the top teams I've seen before down in 10 men, I go back to my own experience as well, but... Yeah, you're under pressure, but you relieve it. You keep the ball a bit more. You're still a threat going yeah, forward. Yeah. See, I watch many, many media where they talk about this. And the only person, only one journalist, not really a journalist, a pundit, but a former player, only one person. Now I see, we apply critical thinking skills in this analysis. And that was Alejandro Moreno on ESPN. Craig Bolli did there. Shaka Hislop did there. And Moreno did there. Only Moreno was saying things the way I saw it get. And thank God I have the video. Even on a long video, I got to go edit and cut out in your own portion because not only in analysis, that resonates with me. You remain Craig Body, you're standing doors. Everybody, like, I know that and give them memo, say, everybody talk, say, make us now go attack. Make them go attack. How do you attack with the makeshift defense? In fact, let's listen to what uh, Moreno said. Tells you and paints a clear picture as to what the absence of both Gabriel and Saliva do against Arsenal defensively. It, it's a really good run from Darwin Nunez, but it's a basic run in some ways. And it's a, it's a ball that as a center back you see being played around the corner as well. Naturally, as Darwin Nunez starts coming across, and if Mohamed Salah is coming from the outside, it's crisscross. So now Mohamed Salah is going to take the space yeah, of Darwin position. Nunez. This is basic attacking principles. And it's also basic defending principles. And what you saw from Arsenal is once that ball was played around the corner, panic as to how do we cover Darwin Nunez, how do we cover Mohamed Salah, we don't know where he is, where is he going, where is that? Why they not go panic? Because it is a makeshift defense, which is what I'm saying all along. And people expect, expect us to go and be attacking. They go panic because you have, who go, who go, who go inspire confidence for who? Shayna Ben White will be saying that's not the role they have been playing for a long time. Now you're going to inspire confidence for Thomas Partey for right back. I mean, now you're going to inspire confidence for Jacob Kivio. Then that Jacob Kivio will give Luis Maskelly confidence. All of them, they are panicking because no man, no man, no be their pussy be that on a good day. You get so not only this guy, they get the, the thing while they talk. And, and in that doubt, that it, it's just a fraction of a second, it's all it takes. In that sense of doubt, you lost Salah, you lost Nunez, 2 2. Ah, ah, simple as ABC. You have a makeshift defense, they go panic. And people say, they attack on that. See, we are lucky not to even concede three. Because at the time people say, when you go to our Facebook community, immediately they remove Timba. It's the evidence is that they already go put and say, ah, from now onwards, anything will happen. I, I bet give the boys, they try. No need to criticize anybody. They really, really tried. So my dear answer of us, Baba, and I just I get many videos, I get top spot videos. I point you say the young dogs, but if I say they bring on your video, now they react to the bad. The video go into one hour. I saw a lot of things out of all of them. Now, only this man, now just actually talk with him. I really, really resonated with. And when I was telling you about the likes of uh, Roy King, if you see Roy King's statements, or more, Baba Toxi, and when Arsenal got themselves in front, they sit back instead of going after the third goal. Liverpool were there for the taking again. I'm starting to worry about Arsenal's mentality because we know come as I come attack. They <laughs> say Roy King against Manchester City. One man down. Now you say, say I'm worried about Arsenal mentality. They no come aside. Make I tell you, all these people, if they say we come aside, can't chop maybe five two. They go they laugh us. The annoyance be say Arsenal no lose, and the earlier you know this, the better. They don't really like say we actually salvage the draw. You get like Canada. Canada want them Liverpool to win so that they go go win title. Be <laughs> on Arsenal. Everybody get their own bias, but it is what it is. Now for those who know they are where today the Ballon d'Or is holding. So Fabrizio Romano also posted and said Ballon d'Or they was gonna win. The favorites, heavy favorites now, Vinicius Jr. But what if Vinicius Jr. no come in? And what if they can't shock him? 
Because yet they don't give them inside information, say nine go winner, but this is where it is. We'll see how it goes. So if you're enjoying the show, come on, do us a favor. Don't forget to like the content, actually share the content so that more and more people will never see our show, go to see them and our community will grow. And don't forget to subscribe and follow us. So the biggest things of the day, I thought that the complaint say till now, they never really tell us why our goal was disallowed. Yes, although the report just will come out this morning, we don't hear her, but maybe them ask Nagongo. But I think I said maybe they would expect a letter we go come in to get an explanation on why things went that way. So my dear all of us, I think it's a fine place for us to call the show and end. So till I come your way in the evening to so give you the evening news. Till then, thanks for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of your day. Now get out. Sorry, guys. Bye-bye.